Okay, just as a reminder to everyone new here, um, uh, for DS and 3DS games, I can't use the webcam. So, it's uh, so it's a no fly for the webcam, but on the plus side, um, uh, we can stream DS games. Like if you've been watching my Pokemon Platinum playthrough, then um, uh, you already know this. And of course the. Welcome to New Super Mario Bros. The first game to. I'm um, the first game to introduce the new series, and well, I've been through this a lot, haven't I? Okay. Uh, this isn't this isn't gonna be a 100% playthrough. Or at least I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet. But let's see what happens. It, it's been a while since I played this game. Huh? And because Mario decides to just leave Peach alone for like two seconds... Bowser Jr. comes and I'm a... Yoinks the princess. Mario, you really can't leave Peach alone for more than five seconds. Ah oh, well. Let's be real, I wouldn't be surprised if Mario if Mario just says Princess Peach. I'm a just for the thrill of the adventure. But yeah, uh, New Super Mario Bros. was the first game to introduce like the new series of games. And I'm uh, the first main platformer since Super Mario World. Uh, not counting the Game Boy Advance um, uh, remakes of 2, 3, World and Yoshi's Island. Sorry, just figuring out the volume here. Yeah, I, I haven't played this game in proper years. But I do remember like really enjoying it. Almost done with the stage. Oh, but yeah, um, uh, anytime you grab a Mega Mushroom, just wreck house. And I just realized I haven't got all three coins yet. I think there was a... I think I destroyed the pipe. No? Oh, but yeah, um, uh, much like um, uh, most of the new Mario games, uh, every stage has three... Um, has three MacGuffins to get. Now... In this case, star coins. This is the first game to implement them. Now, I don't believe. No, you don't. You don't need these to um, uh, unlock um, uh, more stages or like Bowser's castle or things like that. Um, uh, they're actually mostly meant for um, uh, like unlocking extras. But I think that this. I think this game does have a world nine. I don't. I think it does. I've never gotten it, but then again, I've never, I've never 100 percent this game. So what I'm gonna do is, um, uh, I am going to um, uh, like try and get all all the coins. But what I'm gonna do is, um, if I miss any, I'll just grab them off screen. Um, uh, once we finish the entire game. But I am actively gonna try to get all of them. To be fair, this isn't like um, uh, Yoshi's Island, where if I miss, like, one collectible, I have to get everything again. Like, this is a case where I'm, uh, if I miss one collectible, I just have to go and get that one collectible. Nope. Yeah. Also, it just kind of feels good to play another Mario game that isn't free. And, um, uh, I've been wanting to play some more DS games for a while. You know, I'm anything that isn't Pokemon Platinum. I'm going to run out of space if I don't... Okay. Oh, really? Hang on. There we go. Okay, so, much like Super Mario World, you can, um, uh, store items um, in the bottom screen and use it for later, or if you take a hit... Okay, so that was just a shortcut. 
I didn't mean to do that. Actually, I don't think I needed to. No. Okay. Yeah, it's... But like I said, it's been a long time since, since I played this game, so I'm, uh, don't expect a professional playthrough. It's been a while since I played a platformer. I'm on a handheld anyway. Just making sure there's... Oh, wait. Oh, I know why. Well, the stars run out crazy fast in this game. Yeah, I need to go this way to get the third coin. Don't know if this leads to a secret exit. I'm going to say it doesn't. Oh, it's a red flag, so maybe. Well, we'll find out sooner or later. Oh, yeah, sure enough. Well, guess I gotta go and get the regular exit now. Thankfully, I, I got all three coins, so I don't need to, like, try and hunt them again. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not, like I said before, I, I've wanted to play, like, more um, uh, DS games. Well, I also wanted to stream more DS games. I'm, uh, you know, that isn't Pokemon Platinum, of course. I have to say, though, I'm, uh, I never realized how much of a good library I've got of DS games, but I, I've also got, like, a very specific line of, um, uh, DS games, because I can't stream any games that use the bottom screen more than the top screen. In fact, I can't really use a game that... I can't really play a game that uses both. Like, it has to be, like, top screen for the main game and bottom screen for extras, because this game... Because, like, as you can see, I'm, uh... I'm on my, I'm, uh, middle... Sorry. I'm on my lower screen. I'm on the left. It's all, like, purple. Oh, I know. Take the regular exit. Um, uh, that's a glitch with um, uh, my 3DS capture device. It's because like my computer is not specifically built for streaming. So, um, uh, yeah. So any games that that primarily use the bottom screen are completely off, are completely out of the question because of the um, uh, bad coloring. All right, so this one has a floating red block. That means it's, that means that's got a unique item in it. And it's another mega mushroom. All right. Hopefully I don't miss any uh, hopefully I don't destroy my chances of getting a coin. That's kind of my one my one problem with, with the mega mushroom on a tiny ass look. I'm on a level with tiny ass platforms. It's very easy to kill yourself. Oh well. To be fair, I'm not really big on the Mega Mushroom anyway. Also, yeah, that, that Mega Mushroom did actually screw me out of getting a coin. So if you want me to be honest, I'm probably going to avoid all the Mega Mushrooms unless it's a stage that benefits from it. Really, I think that I think that red block should have contained a um, uh, fire flower. Speaking of which, um, uh, we've been we played through a couple stages already, but we haven't been introduced to the game's newest item. Uh, come to think of it, I don't think there. I don't think that there's a level that has. That just has it. Also, just hearing this game's soundtrack, it really goes to show that New Super Mario Bros. Wii, uh, U, and 2 really did reuse a lot of its music, which I find that kind of lazy. 
I'm not a fan of it at all, actually. Uh, no, you know, I'm good with my items for now. Oh, but now that I have some coins... Yeah, this is what... Okay, I don't think there is a World 9. But, um, uh... Coins unlock these. Uh, I might as well shut this off. This is an extra life house. Now, th this is pretty simple. You just need to follow the blocks. More specifically... Oh, no, mine's... This is different. Okay. Okay. Times two. Times three. Okay. Okay, so that, that was a lot different than I than I thought it was going to be. We're getting a bit of an... We're getting a couple of encoding overloads, and I don't really like it. Yep, there's another one. Hang on. Just gonna wait for it to pass. It's... There we go. That was weird. Also, yeah, this... They've been reusing this... The, uh, they pretty much reused the entire soundtrack. Ah, damn it. Yeah, now that I play this, the more I'm, like, kind of annoyed at, at Nintendo for, like, how they handled the um, uh, other new games. Which, all the more makes me praise 3D World more for being more different. Well, this one actually sounds genuinely creepier than the original. Well, this is the original. This one sounds genuinely creepier than what than what the than what the other games would use. Okay. Okay. This door here, I believe, is supposed to be an exit door. Yeah, I think it's to go through that. I think if you go through that door there, it'll take you to that bottom one. You know, just in case, I'm going to test it. Oh! Good thing I did that. And yeah, I was right. And that's all of them. So far, I haven't missed one yet, which is good. I'm at 15 lives. So that's pretty good. Sorry, just checking for secrets. I don't think I've... Great. Okay, let's try that again. Unfortunately, I gotta recollect the coins I am uh, lost. Uh, because I uh, because I got through the um uh, for, uh, because I got to the checkpoint um uh, after I've gotten the first coin, I don't need to get that one. Right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna equip the firefly just yet in case I screw up this. Okay, I'm also gonna save it for when I get past um uh, that bit because I I don't want to lose the item. Let's get the fire flower. So now I believe this. Yeah, this is a Bowser Jr. fight. Thankfully, these fights are not difficult. In fact, he might as well be Boom Boom.
I'm coming, I'm coming. Also, where, do, where does Bowser get the time to build all these um, uh, castles without anyone noticing? Uh, not really sure if I should be going through. Well, actually, I don't have an item, so... Alright. I'm gonna try and see if I can get the new one. Got it! And it replaced my fire flower. I didn't actually want that. I thought I would... Never mind. So, that's the newest item in the game. The blue shell. It's actually really cool. Uh... But hold on a minute. Let me just, um, uh... Not gonna use it just yet because, yeah, lo and behold. All right. So how the blue shell works is that the moment you start running, you tuck into your shell, and you just start like, and, and you just go automatically. You're basically, you're basically doing what Koopa Troopers go through. Only you have a bit more control over this. Uh oh. I wasn't expecting that. Get out of here. Now... Oh, of course he comes back. Oh! Okay, this is the other new item. This is the mini mushroom. It makes you even more vulnerable. Like, if you get hit in this form, you don't grow back. You, you die. This is, in some cases, kind of worse. But you're so light, your jumps are higher, and you float on the water if you if you just keep running. Now, one thing this game does that's so dickish is that you have to defeat certain bosses with this in order to unlock in order to unlock everything. So that requires keeping a hold of a mini mushroom that are usually not in the stages. And, um, uh, like, trying to beat the bosses with them. The problem is that... Oh, right. My mistake. But, yeah, um, uh, you... <laughs> but, yeah, so, they expect you to, um, uh, in order to, um, uh, un in order to unlock everything, you have to defeat certain bosses using the mini mushroom. Okay. Uh, yep. This one's obviously the most important. Now, I'm going to bet this is a coin block. Yep. Yeah, if you keep that up, um, uh, you'll get items out of them as well. As well as, like, quite a few coins. More often than not, it's just a mushroom, but... Hmm, this might actually be a good time for this. Hopefully. Yep. Yeah, I love this thing. I like the fact that I can just hold down a button and move automatically. And nothing can really harm me while I'm in this. Besides a bottomless pit. And of course, anything that's like insta-kill. It's honestly one of my favorite items. Like, even though, like, it, um, in terms of practicality, it's not really that good. Cause I'm a, because you're a little harder, because you're a little harder to control with it. Um, uh, in ter in terms of moving, um, uh, it's not really recommended. And look here, like, this is a bad place for me to use my shell. Which is why I'm hoping that red block contains a fire flower. You better give me a damn good reason 
for this. Oh, so I guess I, I guess they didn't reuse all of their music. All right, I'm going to keep a hold of this just in case they actually expect me to um, uh, use this mini form um, uh, to get star coins. Alright, so it's expecting me to hit that, but what for? Okay. Okay, that's the first one. At least I hope it's the first one. Yep. Here's the second one. Still not seeing a reason to use this mini mushroom. But yeah, it is technically... Um, uh, you're in an even worse state with this thing. Because um, like I said, you get hit once, you're dead. Oh. Uh, I'm going to risk it as much as I don't want to. Alright, these are usually items, but let's see. And I suppose the plus side of this is that I'm actually harder to hit because of how much smaller I am. Okay, so the pipes haven't stopped when I activated the P-switch. And no, it turns out I didn't need the mini mushroom for any of this. So if the game decided to troll me. Also, I only like took a glimpse of it, but it looked like my um but it looked like I'm uh, activating that P-switch caused quite a bit of lag. Oh, I got triple ones. Huh. Wasn't even wasn't even trying for that. I believe if you get two numbers that are the same. Um uh, uh, uh um you get that fanfare. I don't know if it's three or two. I'm gonna assume it's just two. Alright. Hopefully this is hopefully this will be like well, this is probably going to be the item, the item roulette thing again. Yeah. I anticipated the fact that my jump was slower. <laughs> also, I just noticed that in the um, uh, feedback, the shell's green. Alright. So we can go to the castle if we want to. Uh, I think I've gotten all the star coins so far, so that's good. I'm not using the blue shell for this one. But I will gladly... No! <laughs> Bollocks. Well, guess I'm staying as mini Mario for a little bit. Got ya. Surprised that worked. Yeah, it's, it's a really good thing I didn't use the blue shell for this. Although, on the other hand, I think if I would have bounced, um, uh, I think I would have gotten a good enough chain to um, uh, like get a couple one-ups. But I'm honestly not interested. I've died a couple times already, like. Alright. There we go. It's just coins, huh? Hopefully there's a star coin up here. Yep.
Also, I like that little coin heaven callback. That was that was neat. Right. Well, let's just just. Oh, oh, because I got that checkpoint there. Um, uh, I don't need to collect all three coins again. Two, three, four, five. Seven. Shit. I'm not going to get a new power-up, am I? For the record, I'm not touching the D-pad there. Alright. Yeah, he's just going by himself. Alright, so I'm starting to see, like... One or two benefits using the mini mushroom when it comes to stage navigation. You're harder to hit and you're a hell of a lot lighter. Alright. Honestly, I'm just spending these for the sake of spending them. Now, to explain this cannon here, that's a warp to one of the next worlds. But in order to get to it, you need to find a secret exit somewhere. Honestly, I'm not going to bother. Because if, if I'm doing every stage, then there's no point in me, I'm, uh, like, do, uh, if I'm doing every stage, there's no point in me taking the shortcuts. Now, I just want to check something real quick. Can I use... No, I can't use the touch screen to, like, quickly navigate through... I think I've got every star coin, so. Now, this is the one sin Nintendo's done um, uh, for their new series. I'm going to keep quiet for a moment. Yeah, isn't this song awesome? Uh, that that was Nintendo's biggest sin. Like, uh, from all the songs they put into this game, they reused for future games. They didn't bring this one back. And honestly, I've forgotten just how damn good this this song was. Okay. Yeah. So far, it seems that star coins only exist. Uh, for, um, uh, and for opening up alternate pathways. So I don't think I'm going to need to collect all of them, just a set amount. Oh, where's your head at, Dry Bones? Wait, is he actually dead? Oh, no, there he goes. He just took a minute. Alright, time for the first boss. And it's, believe it or not... We're fighting Bowser right off the bat. Alright. Pretty simple stuff. If you played Super Mario Bros. 1, that's all you have to do. And watch this! Bowser's skin fucking melts off. He literally turns into a goddamn skeleton. Now, at the time, that was a huge shock to everyone who played this game, because they were not expecting that. Also, I missed a coin. Hang on, let me double check. Got them. Got them. 
Got them. Got them. Got them. Got them. Got them. Yeah, I should have missed a coin. Oh. If coins are just for unlocking alternate paths, then I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. But yeah, that that's the introduction to what is now known as Dry Bowser. Uh, Bowser's skeletal form that's often... Um, more often than not now. More often than not now. It's mostly just used for post-game stuff. Where, like, um, uh, Dry Bowser is used as a stronger version of, of regular Bowser. Also, this song's different as well. Huh, I guess it didn't reuse everything. Whoop! Yeah, I'm gonna try and get all of them, but I'm not gonna lose sleep over missing any. If it turns out that there is a World 9, then I will go back and collect all of them. Yeah, also, take out the heads of the Pokies and you take them out completely. Also, I don't know if this game uses secret walls. No. Might use secret sand pits. Although I'm willing to bet this one isn't one. They usually save that for a much later world. Uh, pass. I don't want to get rid of the blue shell. But I also don't want to use it for stages where I where I know it will kill me. Ow. Oh wait, no, I've, I've got all of them. So, I guess that's just for a bonus. Whoop! That was close. Pokey nearly poked me. Also, um, uh... Go. Also, I'm a. Uh, I, I was looking at I'm a Mario enemies. I'm a, again because I'm a. I like to study up on, on the different variants. Because I'm a. There's still that part of me that, like that like wants to make a bestiary of every, um, uh, Mario enemy that exists, but put them into like a sort of, but to put them, in, them into sort of like a documentary sort of thing. Where like it studies like the. The natural habitats, the um, uh, behaviors, diets, and like the potential anatomy. Jeez, we're getting a lot of encoding overloads. Uh, oh yeah, those are actually pretty bad on the feedback from what I'm seeing. Oh, hey, bro, it's like it, it's like it too. Bollocks. Oh, you don't ride in its shell? Huh, alright. Wow, we are getting a shitload of encoding overloads here. Uh... Hang on. Let me see if getting rid of the bottom screen helps. Oh, yeah, that does work. Alright. Yep. Is this the first or second one? Uh. Yeah, there's... We're not getting any more encoding overloads, so I guess it was the bottom screen. Hey, come on, like two with bros. But yeah, like if it's no surprise, like Lego twos are my favorite Mario enemies, hence why my hence why my profile name and character avatar is a Lego two. I was wondering to myself, like, would they put up two high in the sky? Or is it just, is it just to get these coins? Also, I better be careful because that, 
That cloud will eventually flicker. Yep. Yeah, pass. Oh wait, hang on. Go back for a moment, just in case I missed it. Nope, I didn't miss it. But I wouldn't be surprised if the third one was in the air, so... Actually, hang on. Hello. Oh. I didn't think to press up. There we go. Yeah, it shows one thing. Now I definitely can't show off most of the bottom screen. Well, any any of the bottom screen from uh, future DS games. Unless they're just that still and simple like what Pokemon Platinum was. It's funny, I've actually been um, uh, extremely tempted to um, uh, eventually livestream Dream Team Bros. The Mario and Luigi game. <sighs> Problem is that they use the bottom screen for a few things and I don't think... And if my... <laughs> And if my capture device was struggling that much, um, uh, with something simple like New Super Mario Bros. this one, definitely can't do Dream Team Bros. This. All right. Okay, so it looks like this one has a secret exit. Okay. Still only coding overload. Oh no, it's past now. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll, if I'll be able to stream this game often. What's the layout? A sewer level? We, we don't actually see sewer levels often. Like, that, like, no joke, like, sewer levels are not common. Like, that's something you... Like, this is some pipe maze stuff. Alright, what's this? Coin block. Okay. I'm gonna save that fire flower there, just in case I take a hit. But I also don't remember if it's gonna overwrite the blue shell. Actually, you know what? Have some fun. It's honestly like really fun for stages like these. Oh, <laughs> except when that happens. Oh, you didn't tuck into your shell, you daft bastard. Well, now I'm down. Now I'm down oh, all my power ups, really. Go back and get that fire flower. <laughs> I thought he would have tucked into a sh bollocks. I thought he would have tucked into a shell at that point, because like I thought he had enough momentum. I uh, I guess not. There we go. Hate it when that happens. I love the blue shell a little too much. Like it's probably a, an unhealthy relationship. He I don't know, like, it's just a, it's a simple thing that's just fun. Also, for the record, no, I did not know that was there. I just lucked out. Okay, so, this one's different, so what do you do? Oh, you raise the water temporarily. Oh, which means... Wait, that's disappeared. Oh, I get it. Got some water. Got some more time water temple uh, business up here. All right, and this is probably how I get the secret exit. Called it. All right. Unfortunately, I didn't get the third coin, but I'm going back in here anyway, so. 
I'll get it then. There we go. Alright. I'm really bummed out that I lost my blue shell in such a silly way. Also, fun fact, the blue shell does actually make a reappearance in a uh, New Super Mario Bro No, in a uh, Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. At this point, you're probably better off just playing the um, uh, 3DS remake, but in my opinion, I, I still think the regular DS version is the superior one. Okay, in some aspects. Because there are some things about the 3D... Like, I haven't played the 3DS version, I'll openly admit. Oh, for f I hit the jump button. <sighs> but yeah, I'm, uh, I, I mean, I know that, um, that the 3DS version comes with a couple of, um, uh, good factors to it. In fact, mo in fact, I'm pretty sure most of it is good. But it also makes some strange decisions that I'm just not really a fan of. Like, the absolute best things about it is the fact that, um, uh, Two particular bosses in the game actually get their own unique battle themes, and I felt like that was something that they really needed in the original. And I'm glad that they not only um uh, went through of it, but they were pretty, they were really kick-ass themes. I'm not gonna say what because I'm uh you know to be frank I'm uh. I'm a, I'm just in case of spoilers. Hmm. Thought there would have been an invisible one there. Actually, hang on. Yeah, okay. Ah, there's the coin. Uh, oh. There we go. And that's all of them. Please be a blue shell. Nope. <laughs> Alright, so what are you? Another fire flower? I'll take that. Jumping so weirdly finicky in this game. Oh. Never mind, I just screwed up. Alright, do mind if I do mind if I do? Great. This game definitely feels a bit clunkier than I remember it being, but then again, I can't remember the last time I played this proper. Like, for the most part, like, whenever I'm booting this game up, I'm, uh... Oh, you... Okay. I just want to know. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, so it looks like this one has two secret exits as well. One leading to a pipe, one leading to the world skip. Oh, that is a nasty looking porky puffer. Also, it gave me mini for a reason. I'm gonna see what it wants. And that's proof that I'm um, uh, the mini mushroom makes you weaker. All right, so can't really show this off because I can't have the touch because I can't have the bottom screen up. But if you tap the item in, in your touch screen, uh, you use it. I also want to know if I'm um, uh, this thing is killable. 
got a tough time aiming. Okay, it's killable, but I think it's a temporary thing. Oh yeah, that, that did not last long at all. I just don't know if it's an insta-kill or if it just hurts. So I know that some variants of the Porcupuff uh, could actually just strip eat you. Also, yeah, I'm a... Uh, I guess... <laughs> I guess the continuation didn't really reuse a lot of tracks from this game. But they certainly, um, uh, reused a fair amount of their own tracks anyway, which I'm, uh, again, not really a fan of. Oh. Alright. Wasn't expecting that invisible block, I'll say that much. Good way, let's me go up here and... Ah, oh, damn it. Also, I think this would just be easier. Oh yeah, infinitely. I don't know why I'm collecting all these coins. I, I guess it's just because they're there. But I also don't know if this game saves your life count. Which I guess to be fair, then there would be even less point of collecting them because the moment I turn this game off, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna lose them all. Whoa. Guess he decided to leave. Okay, I'm willing to bet that was the third one. Oh no, that was the second one, jeez. And I'm willing to bet that yellow pipe there. Oh jeez. Yeah, okay, that yellow pipe has some of the third coin. Just go. Which was actually the exit that I wanted, so... Where will this take me? Just stri strip to the castle, jeez. Alright, I kind of want to see what the where the other exit takes me. So, let's go. Also, I love the fact that you don't have to recollect anything. Like, I should point out, I I did not long get off of Yoshi's Island, so... I'm never 100% in that game again, and I'm glad I don't have to anymore. To be fair, that was... I'm a 100%ing it was strictly on me. Okay, so it looks like I need to... Bollocks. So it looks like I need to hop off these guys to get extra height. Yeah. Keep moving, keep moving. Oh, you dick. Now I get it. Actually, can I? Uh, you know what? Forget it. Oop. If the game really, um, uh, does... <laughs> Sorry. I, I mean, if the game, um, uh, really doesn't have a World 9 that requires getting all the coins, then there really is no point in getting them all. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Alright, how do I get... Oh, okay. Nice, I love the terraforming switches. 
They're my favorite on my everyday devices. In all honesty, that was actually kind of cool. I don't think they do that often either. Ah! I mistook him for the red one. This, this is pretty simple. Remember, like, wall jumping feels a little bit more finicky than I remember it being. But I can't tell if that's, um, uh, me, the DS, or, um, uh, so, sorry, the 3DS. Or if it's the, um, uh, <laughs> um, or if it's because I'm, uh, like, New Super Mario Bros, a uh, Wii U and 2 just do it better. Also, I definitely need a mini mushroom. I don't know if I need it for um, uh, all the stars. Well, all the coins. Speaking of which. What? Okay. I'm willing to bet you have a mini mushroom. Or a cheap cheap with coins. There we go. Secretly pickpocketed the fish. I actually remember that there was a YouTube clip of, of, of a pickpocketer stealing Steve Harvey's um, tie without noticing. Which is really kind of funny. You bastard. Sorry, I'm going back for that. That I felt ripped off by that. Alright, try again. Also, if this cheap cheap really can't really doesn't want to bother buying like a proper wallet or like some sort of container to keep the coins in, then really, then it really is his fault. I'm a for being pickpocketed so easily. It's, it's his fault for being so cheap. Moving on. Oh, sweet. Oh, hammer pros. Also, I guess to, I didn't need that mini mushroom for anything. Fortress. Yeah, I'm not bothering with the red blocks unless they're just in the way. Alright. I think one of the reasons... I just I just also, like, realised something is that I'm, uh... I haven't been... I'm, uh... I haven't been talking a lot this session. I'm, uh... Which is funny, because I usually don't shut up whenever I'm playing a Mario game. Mind you, I usually... The Mario games I usually play when that happens are normally ones that I've played um, uh, for years. And I'm just, like, so comfortable where I can do that. Because it's been, like, God knows how long since I last played this game. I don't know what to expect, so I'm also, but, like, partially concentrating. Hang on. Ah. Coin? Wait, oh, is, that, is that a snake block? Uh, nope. Although, to be fair, not really a fan of this either. Oh, I got it. Alright, gonna need to loop. Got ya. 
So at least that, at least this teaches you how to, how to do the wall jump if you've, if you've never done it before. All right, what do you do? Oh, neat. And you spin. Where's this pipe leads? Straight to the boss. I can't leave. I only got one star coin. All right, fine. So might as well show this off. Um, uh, if you have a fire flower, just pelt him. Fire flowers take out Junior and most bosses much quicker than just jumping on them. If I wanted to, I could just take that shortcut and just go straight to the castle, but I want to beat all the stages. No, uh, one ups. I'm fine for now. I have 24. Okay, so there's an item block here. Oh, please be what I think it is. You son of a bitch. Okay, not what I was expecting. Yeah, I was expecting um, uh, those Goombas in the blocks. Bollocks. That many mushrooms been- <laughs> The many mushrooms has been screwing me over more than anything. I would have avoided it if I reacted in time. Well, this would have been a perfect stage for the blue shell. I never realized just how damn rare the blue shell actually was. Oh, sweet. Alright. We're going this way, mate. Alright, come on. This way. Do I just need, need to choke a bitch? I don't think I needed him. I, I, I really do not remember those enemies. I'm also like so used to Goombas being in those blocks. Oh, those are, those enemies I recognize, the fire snakes. So far, nothing. Those things are surprisingly lethal enemies, if, if you're not expecting them with how quick they move. Also, hey, boomerang bros. I've also missed a coin somewhere. But I'm pretty sure I missed... Well, this is the second one. Wait, hang on. You know what, never mind. Mm. Alright. Ugh, sorry. We've been screwing up on them getting on getting the coins a bit more often now. Not a big fan of it, but if there really isn't a world nine, then eh. We're closing in. We're on the 18 minute mark. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to beat this world and then call it quits. Well, not getting that. Also, I like that the, the Piranha Plants um, uh, have that sound effect from Yoshi's Island. That wow, 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 and then pop.
Jeez, almost, <laughs> almost ate my hat. Mario would have had to commit a murder for that. More so. <laughs> I'm really not a fan of making Mario out to be a psychopath, considering that most of the enemies you kill is your choice. But sometimes it can be funny. But yeah, I, I, I've always been against the the um, theories that like Mario's a psychopath when it you when it's using a lot of player inputs. I hit the jump button, by the way. Like, there's a lot of things I, I could believe about Mario, but like a murderous psychopath isn't exactly on that list. It's not like Nintendo will, will confirm that one either. Don't exactly want to soil their poster boy's reputation. Speaking of which, it's really going to make me wonder what they're going to do for the f for the movie. Oh, not getting that. Because I'm, uh, like... Mario has a few set things for his personality, like, but otherwise, like, he's got, he's got as much of a personality as a cardboard box. And to be fair, that's actually a perfect thing to, it's actually a perfect thing for him to have for games, because it means that he'll fit right into anything without any issues. Like, seriously, you wonder why Mario has so many spin-offs? <laughs> Because of uh, his preferences, are never really like stated, like his likes and dislikes. Apart from, apart from like the very typical stuff. Um, uh, makes it easier to put him in spin-offs. Not causing that trouble for myself again. All right, that's the second one. Oh, big boy. Whoa! Almost got hit there. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, fire, fire plants. I really wish there was a difference between the regular and the fire types. It's also kind of weird for a plant to, like, shoot fire. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> that plant picked a poor place to sprout. So we'll finish off this castle and then we'll call it quits. Now, I can't show you on the bottom screen anymore, but if you noticed while it was there, there are branching paths. <sighs> Alright, these. Um, uh, those are the branching paths I was talking about so that requires the mini mushroom. Now, I don't know if each stage has one, or if you actively have to go out, go out of your way to get one. A part of me remembers the latter. Yeah, I should have ducked. There we go. Also, these kind of remind me of, of the chainsaws from Mario World. Also, that was close. Yeah. <laughs> that was almost a spike up the ass. Also, wow, I'm a, an outdoor area. You really don't see those often in castles. I mean, I mean the last one I recall is I'm a. Yeah, I sure want to say Yoshi's Island again. Cause like there was, world. World 4's castle had their entrance bits, but you know, it wasn't one in the middle, I believe. 
Also, this is gonna suck! Also, I like that, that the music doesn't in- that the- uh, I'm not, that the P-Switch music doesn't interrupt the castle theme. I oh, don't no, here it is. Alright, I'm gonna show off what you at least have to do. But I'm gonna be getting both exits anyway. Oh, now it interrupts! <laughs> that was close. Okay, so the idea for these boss battles with the mini mushroom is that you have to jump on the enemy's heads like normal. But because you're so small, you actually don't do any damage. So you have to do a ground pound. Now, to be fair, these aren't really the end of the world. They're pretty much... Well, these aren't really super hard. They, these are just no-hit runs. And I did it. Wow. Well, either way, I'm going to need to beat this stage again. With the regular to unlock the other one. But look. Because we went down that small pipe, we now go to World 4 instead. Which I believe is the jungle. World 4 is usually... Yep, World 4 is the jungle. Alright. Now I'm gonna go and um, uh, get the other one. But first I'm gonna, like, please let us be a blue shell. Alright, whatever. Might as well cause a bit of carnage and get some one ups. Wow, really? That wasn't even worth it. I don't even think I was I was even gonna get one. Alright, try again with this. I believe this is the pipe maze actually. Nope. That was close. Oh no, this is the Lega 2 one. Ah crap. Oh bloody hell. Alright, fine, I'll, I'll just use my fire flower. Actually, hang on. One last try. This better not be a damn mini mushroom. That'll do. Oh, you don't keep... Oh, you have to beat the stage? Alright, fine. Actually, you know what? Now, from the looks of it, that stage wouldn't be too bad with the blue shell. <laughs> no, no, I'm about to eat my words now. Oh, no mind. Yeah, that was 100% pointless. So that doesn't let you equip the item first. That was a waste. Alright. Let's get the other exit now. Okay, so I guess that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Because I thought um, uh, you had to go to another stage to get a mini mushroom. I think what I was thinking of, um, uh, you had to grab a mini mushroom. Well, um, you had to get a mini mushroom from, um, uh, to store it. And I think that's what I was doing. But I honestly don't remember. Also, I don't mind replaying this stage because we get to hear the awesome castle music again. Like, seriously, I, I seriously can't believe that they never brought this theme back. Mind you, now that I'm noticing, they never really brought back a lot of the um, uh, regular themes. They were certainly okay with um, uh, doing new Super Mario Bros. Wii's castle theme. All over and over again. Yeah, the... That's one thing I don't really like to admit, is that uh, the new series can be kind of soulless at times. All 
All right, now I'll show you how to defeat that boss regularly. Well, mind you, it's as easy. It's as easy as you think. It's just like jump on his head three times. The only problem is that now that I'm not lighter and able to jump higher. Also, what the hell? That should have counted. That was fast. Bollocks. Really? Really? Where was the checkpoint? Oh, yeah, here. Wow, I had an, I had an easier... T well, mind you, um, uh, the mini mushroom makes you a lot more mobile, so... Oh, nope, never mind. This does look like you could jump through it. I'm having way too many close calls here. Firefly work on this thing. It's a skeleton, isn't it? Skeletal enemies, unless it's the Paper Mario series, usually immune to fire. Well, that would have worked if I am uh, hadn't have stood there and took it. What the hell? I hit him. Oh, whatever. Now we go that way, we've got World 3 and World 4 unlocked. Admittedly, I wasn't really... I'm not really a fan of this whole branching path thing to begin with. But whatever, it adds some variety to it. Alright. It's time for me to end off here. St still, though, I'm, uh, this has been an, in an interesting session so far. Like, um, uh, just to explain, if you haven't, if, um, uh, you haven't been, um, uh, watching, uh, I'm watching these on Twitch, or, um, uh, don't check out all my videos, I've streamed Blossom Tales, the final part of ESA, Environmental Station Alpha, and this, so two new games, and, um, uh, I finished ESA, or at least, um, uh, sort of, you'll need to see the video to understand, and, um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be moving on to another another new game next week. Okay, so if things went if things go accordingly, next session should be more Persona free. Can't guarantee anything because I'm uh, this stupid heat and the lockdown's been causing a couple issues lately. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later. Take care, guys.